Assalamualaikum dear students i welcome you all to virtual universities program on personality psychology today is our lecture number 37 and in this 37th lecture we are talking about skinner's theory of personality there are certain very interesting concepts and things which we will talk about today but before beginning with lecture number 37 let us recap what we did in lecture number 36 In our lecture number thirty-six, me we began talking about Skinner's theory of personality, or हमने आपसे ये कहा था कि Skinner's psychology is labelled as radical behaviorism. So radical behaviorism is the brand psychology label which is synonymous or similar with Skinner's name. सो so, जहाँ पे भी नाम आएगा रेडिकल बिहेवियरिज्म पे वहीं पे जो दूसरा इम्पोर्टेंट सिग्निफिकेंट नाम आता है दैट इज ऑफ स्किनर नाउ व्हाट इज दिस रेडिकल बिहेवियरिज्म रेडिकल बिहेवियरिज्म इज वेयर स्किनर रिजेक्ट्स इनर स्टेट्स ऑफ बिहेवियर सच एज एंजाइटी बीइंग एंक्शस बीइंग टेंस बींग अपसेट सो फॉर स्किनर Behavior is only overt, observable behavior of an individual. He totally rejects the concept of inner states, anxiety, tension, being upset. He totally rejects that. And for Skinner, behavior is only that thing which is observable. Only overt behavior of an individual or organism is labeled as. radical behaviorism or is the only thing which is of interest to skinner you know let us take an example you are not very comfortable in social gatherings aapko parties social functions or gatherings mein you are somehow not very comfortable you are not very pleased with it now you are invited to a party now as evening approaches you begin to prepare yourself for that evening party you select the dress you select your shoes and you mentally try to put yourself in that phase where you are going to attend a party now you begin to become tense upset anxious and you finally decide you are going to stay at home and you are not going to go to the party so you have avoided going to a party because you are anxious take another example there is an individual who rushes into a building which is on fire and he rushes to save the lives of those people who are dying in that building it is not because of any heroic act it is not because of being a hero or be performing some supreme act but it is simply that you possess a history of such reinforcements in similar situations where you were rewarded where you were praised where you were appreciated so for skinner only those responses or frequency of those responses is more frequent for which you are rewarded or for which you are reinforced then now what is behaviorism well behaviorism is a school of thought and behaviorism focuses on overt observable behavior of an individual it focuses in trying to understand stimulus response connection or link aur sabse badi baat ye ke whether it's classical conditioning or whether it's operant conditioning the focus is on learning now in classical or operant in classical or respondent conditioning the focus is on a strong stimulus response connection or association but in operant conditioning 
the focus is on rewarding reinforcing a response aur wo responses jinko aap reinforce karte hain unki frequency badh jayegi a child brings home a result card with an a in it if you are going to reward the child this behavior is going to be repeated more the child is going to work hard to bring a lot of report cards with a in it and that particular behavior pattern which is not rewarded which is not reinforced uski frequency of response will fall down so basically behaviorism is a school of thought jisme hum dekh le classical or respondent conditioning ke upar watson ka aur pavlov ka bahut kaam hai और जहाँ पे ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग का जिक्र आता है वहां पे थॉर्नडाइक एंड स्किनर हैज वर्क लॉट एंड दे आर फोकसिंग ऑन इट वी इवन वेन थ्रू सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी वेन थ्रू विद अ बायोग्राफिकल स्केच ऑफ स्किनर आपसे क्लासिकल कंडीशनिंग की बात हुई आपसे ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग की बात हुई लेकिन अभी हम ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग वी वर इन द मिडल ऑफ ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग when lecture number 36 came to an end so we we'll, we are going to pick up from there as well and today we are going to talk with you about very important things such as schedules of reinforcement ki baat hogi na schedules of reinforcement ke baad techniques of treatment dekhenge application dekhenge uske baad baat aapse hogi summary of the theory and of course the evaluation dear student it is very interesting theory of personality you will certainly enjoy it so let us begin with our today's lecture we are talking about conditioning now in classical conditioning there is a focus on stimulus and response all our behavior is a reaction to certain stimuli so if we see pavlov's classical experiment where the hungry dog was provided with the meat so meat was the unconditioned stimulus leading to an unconditioned response that is salivation on repeated occasions when meat was presented the dog learned to salivate but something else also happened when unconditioned stimulus that is meat powder was paired with a conditioned stimulus bell and it was presented simultaneously so conceptualize that there is unconditioned stimulus which is being paired with a conditioned stimulus such as a bell and it's being presented to the dog the dog learns to salivate on repeated number of trials the unconditioned stimulus with conditioned stimulus was presented and the dog salivated then step number 4 is where only conditioned stimulus that is the bell is presented and the dog salivates so we say a connection a bond a link an association has been built between conditioned stimulus bell leading to salivation now this is where we say classical conditioning respondent conditioning has taken place dear students all our behavior is based on this stimulus response connection or link now when one s r relationship association has been built the same association on the same stimulus response connection another s r stimulus response connection can be built for example in pavlov's experiment if we pair the bell with a green light and presented to the hungry dog on a repeated number of trials or occasions we are going to see that the dog will learn to salivate the moment green light appears so we say 
second order conditioning is taking place where on the basis of one sr connection you have been able to develop another sr association or link and this is leading to a response we call it second order conditioning examples hamare paas the janab humne kaha tha ke you see a spider you run and you jump so spider is the stimulus and you are running away or jumping is the response so there's a sr relationship you see an injured man and you feel as if you are going to faint so injured man is the stimulus aur aapka reaction ke aapko lagta hai ke aap faint ho jayenge is your response so again there is a stimulus response connection then ab baat aap se ho rahi hai क्लासिकल कंडीशनिंग रिस्पॉन्डेंट कंडीशनिंग जिसके ऊपर बहुत ज्यादा काम पेवलॉफ का और वॉटसन का नाउ लेट इज टॉक अबाउट एन अदर टाइप ऑफ कंडीशनिंग विच इज कॉल्ड ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग नाउ इन ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग द इंडिविजुअल ऑपरेट ऑन द इन्वायरमेंट एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑन द इन्वायरमेंट ही चेंजेस द इन्वायरमेंट and this leads to a consequence this leads to a change so humne kaha operant conditioning refers to that an individual operates on the environment changes the environment and this leads to a certain change in the occurrence of the response so let us see what operant conditioning is skinner's use of the term operant an operant is a response that operates on the environment and changes it the change in the environment affects the occurrence of the response when an operant response is conditioned it is essential that reinforcement be presented after the occurrence of the response only in this way does the frequency of the response increases thorndike put hungry cats in puzzle boxes and to escape from the puzzle boxes thereby to receive a piece of meat or fish they had to perform a series of actions the cats soon learned what they had to do in order to get reinforcement or reward these findings helped thorndike formulate his law of effect which says that those behaviors are more likely to be repeated that lead to satisfying consequences or when behaviors are rewarded they are reinforced number 2 those behaviors are less likely to be repeated that lead to unsatisfying consequences or when behaviors are punished they are not reinforced so rewards and punishments mold the behavior of animals as well as humans teachers judges employers they use this connection between actions and consequences to shape behavior dear students we are talking to you about operant conditioning aur humne aapse ye kaha ke the term operant means that when you operate on the environment and you change this environment and as a result of this change the occurrence of a response takes place then aap jab bhi aap koi behavior chahte hain ki wo repeat ho to you got to reinforce it you got to reward it so those behaviors which are rewarded their frequency will increase and those behaviors which are not rewarded their frequency or their occurrence is going to come down now these two findings come out of thorndike's experiments on hungry cats where the cats were put into the puzzle boxes and they had to perform a series of actions uh, in order to get a reward and what was the reward the reward dear students was a piece of meat or a piece of fish and for the hungry cats that was reinforcement so soon the cats learn what series of actions they had to perform in order to get out of the puzzle box and to get that reward so soon they learn what actions they had to perform so it was because of the reinforcement that they were able to learn to perform a series of actions that led them to come out of the puzzle box get a piece of meat or fish and satiate themselves ab ye wo technique hai operant conditioning ki jo teachers employers judges istemal karte hain 
to mold or modify or change the behavior of individuals. Now, let's take an example. Teachers always reward the student who gets good marks or submits assignment in time or one who is regular and obedient. So, a teacher is usually using the technique of operant conditioning. Jahaan par ek teacher jo hai, wo a student ko jo ke achche grades le rahe hai, jo assignment time pe submit kar rahe hai, jo bada regular hai, jo bada obedient hai, usko praise karta hai, usko reward karta hai. So, he is using the technique of operant conditioning. So, this technique is frequently being used, that is where we are using rewards, reinforcements, to get desirable behavior. So, we are using operant conditioning very frequently in our everyday normal life. Operant conditioning is concerned with the effect of certain kinds of consequences on the frequency of behavior. A consequence that increases the frequency of behavior is called reinforcement and a consequence that decreases the frequency of a behavior is called punishment. Example, you are hungry and ice cream can be a reinforcement. But if you have a common cold or you do not like ice cream, it can be a punishment. Dear students, we are talking to you about the concept of reinforcements. We have reinforcements are very important. If we want the consequences or if we want a behavior, to be increased, a frequency of a behavior to be increased, we use reinforcement or reward. Or jab hum ye chaate ke kisi bhi behavior ki frequency kam ho, decline kare, we use punishment. Example aapko diya ke you are hungry, well ice cream is a reward, is a positive reinforcement. But the same ice cream, it can become punishment if you have a very bad common cold. Or if you don't like ice cream, aapko ice cream bilkul nahi pasand hai, so then it will act as a punishment. Now, Skinner is talking about the concept of reinforcements. He is talking about positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement. Skinner discovered two basic reinforcement strategies for increasing the frequency of behavior. Number one, positive reinforcement. The behavior increases because it is followed by reward. Number two, the frequency of behavior can increase with the negative reinforcement or with the removal or lessening of an unpleasant response. So, Skinner is talking about two types of strategies. He is talking about positive reinforcement. When we reward someone, the frequency of that particular behavior is going to increase. बढ़ जाएगी मसलन बच्चा एक बहुत अच्छा रिपोर्ट कार्ड लेकर आया यू रीइनफोर्स द चाइल्ड एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर बिहेवियर नेगेटिव रीइनफोर्समेंट आल्सो इंक्रीजेस द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ अ डिजायर्ड बिहेवियर अ चाइल्ड ब्रिंग्स इन अ वेरी गुड रिपोर्ट कार्ड एंड यू से दैट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू ब्रिंग इन अ सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ रिपोर्ट कार्ड Next time, you will be spared from doing the domestic chores. Na tumhe ghar pe gaadi dhoni padegi, na ghar ka koi kaam karna padega, balke tumhe ye ek reward ye milega ki you will only be permitted to study. So now the child, this this reinforcement that that is, this is going to increase the frequency of that desired behavior because he is being spared from doing certain things. That is not doing any domestic chores. Positive reinforcement. A student works hard and gets an A on a test. This behavior will increase. It will be followed by working hard for all tests. Number two, the hungry rat learns to press the bar to get a food pallet and the frequency of this behavior increases with the positive reinforcement that is food pallet. Negative reinforcement, the rat that can turn off an electric shoveling a string will quickly learn to pull the string. The frequency of this behavior will increase with the lessening of an unpleasant stimulus. Number two, people with severe headaches learn that when they take rest, they are relaxed and their headaches are gone. So the frequency of behavior 
can increase with the lessening of an unpleasant stimulus. Dear students, we are talking to you about positive reinforcement or negative reinforcement. हमने कहा positive और negative both reinforcements increase the frequency of a desired behavior. Example आपके सामने ये था कि a student brings in a good report card, this behavior will be reinforced. Number two, when we are talking about uh, negative reinforcement. People very much learn that when they have got severe headaches, they should take rest. So when they'll take rest, their headache will be gone. So this reinforces whenever they are going to have headache, they are going to take rest to get rid of severe headache. Similarly, a rat will soon learn that if he is going to pull a string, that through by pulling that string, he will be able to avoid an electric shock that is there. So soon he is going to master this particular behavior and the frequency of this behavior will increase in order to avoid unpleasant stimulus. Dear students, we are talking to you about the role of positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, both according to Skinner are used in increasing the frequency of a behavior. Let us take a very simple example of operant conditioning. We can teach a child to ask for candy frequently by giving candy whenever the child asks for candy. We positively reinforce the response of asking for candy. We can also extinguish the response of asking for candy by not presenting the candy when the child asks for it. We can find that the frequency of occurrence of asking for candy declines. Skinner discovered two basic reinforcement strategies for decreasing the frequency of undesired behavior. Number one, extinction. Extinction is where we stop the reinforcement and the behavior will extinguish. Number two, punishment. The frequency of behavior is reduced when it is followed by an aversive stimulus. Now, it was Skinner who also discovered that there are two types of uh, reinforcement strategies that are used by individuals in order to decrease the frequency of undesirable or faulty behavior pattern. So, those strategies your Skinner jin ki taraf focus karte hai, one is extinction and other is punishment. Now, a student is very disruptive in the class. He is very annoying. He is disturbing whole of the class. So a teacher might send this disruptive student out of the class into the main hall for sake of discipline or to decrease the disruptive behavior. So he is using the technique of extinction. Similarly, a student gets a D grade on a test. So now, since a student is getting a D grade on the test, he will not be having any summer vacations, no summer vacations for him. His favorite toys will be taken away from him and then he will be asked to do some more worksheets. So, this will act as a punishment. Now, for Skinner, these two strategies work. If we want to decrease the frequency of a behavior, jab hum ye chaate hai ki ek faulty behavior or an undesirable behavior or its frequency should decline, we use the technique of extinction and punishment. There is another way that we can reduce the occurrence of the response. When the child asks for candy, we can punish the child by slapping it. That is a very crude way. When we perform an operation like this of adding something to the situation that reduces the probability of responding, we have punished the response. A punishing stimulus is an aversive stimulus which decreases the future likelihood of the response. It is important to note that a punishment is not the same as negative reinforcement. A negative reinforcement increases the likelihood of occurrence of a behavior which is paired and the punishment decreases the likelihood of the behavior.
a behavior can be reinforced by removal of an aversive stimulus however in which case we refer to as negative reinforcement janab baat aap se ho rahi hai do cheeze bahut ahem hai jo aapko yaad rakhni padengi aur itni mushkil bhi nahi hai yaad rakhne ke liye behad aasan hai there is a difference between negative reinforcement and punishment both should not be taken as same negative reinforcement refers to a type of reinforcement which is used to increase the frequency of a response maslan ek bachcha ek bahut acha report card lekar aa raha hai to usko as a reward he is being permitted that he will he is going to get some waiver और उसको क्या वेवर मिलता है उसको ये वेवर और एक्सक्यूज मिलता है कि दैट नो लॉन्गर ही हैज टू वॉश द कार ही कैन स्पेंड इवन दैट टाइम आइदर इंजॉइंग हिमसेल्फ और स्टार्टिंग सो दैट इज नेगेटिव री एनफोर्समेंट सो इज गोइंग टू वर्क मोर हार्ड स्टडी मोर गेट मोर गुड ग्रेड सो इज गोइंग टू गेट सम लेटिट्यूड इन नॉट डूइंग डोमेस्टिक और होम चोर्स सो दैट इज नेगेटिव री एनफोर्समेंट punishment on the other hand is where the likelihood or the frequency of a response is going to decline jahan pe humne aapko misal di ke there is a child who is asking for candy so if you are going to slap the child hit the child beat the child that is going to serve as punishment and that is going to decline the frequency of that candy asking behavior so when he is demanding or asking for candy that behavior and its frequency is going to decline so please keep in mind the difference between negative enforcement which is used in increasing the frequency of a response and punishment which is used in usually when we want that there should be a decline in the frequency of an undesirable behavior for example a parent might reinforce a child for being good grade by excusing the child from doing domestic affairs like dish washing dishes or washing the car similarly a person with phobic fear of snakes reinforces the avoidance response by turning away whenever a snake is encounter thereby eliminating the aversive fear triggered by the snake these are both examples of negative reinforcement when behavior is reinforced it may generalize to other behaviors as well for example a child is praised for performing well on psychology test then he may generalize this behavior to other subjects number 2 by learning how to deal with one angry problematic student teacher learns how to deal with the same student in different situations and with different students with the same angry attitude Dear students we are talking to you about another important concept and that is cumulus generalization Janab baat yu hai ke a child brings or works hard on his psychology test and he gets a good grade he is praised he is appreciated this praise this appreciation is a reinforcement is a reward so the child is going to work hard in other subjects as well in order to get appreciation and reward from other teachers who are teaching other subjects so this particular behavior is generalized so very soon if reinforcement is provided for a desirable behavior it can be generalized for other desirable behaviors as well उसके बाद हमने आपसे बात की एक और बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एग्जाम्पल की जिसमें हमने कहा अ टीचर सून लर्न हाउ टू टैकल एन एंग्री स्टूडेंट सेम एंग्री स्टूडेंट इन डिफरेंट सिचुएशन और डिफरेंट स्टूडेंट शोइंग द सेम एंगर रिस्पॉन्स सो द टीचर इज एबल टू जेनरलाइज इट इन अदर सिचुएशन एज वेल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू डिस्क्रिमिनेट among cumulus situation events and persons example you look nice today who has said it and in what particular tone of voice is it a friend or an enemy with love or with sarcastic tone 
जनाब बात आपसे हो रही है एक और बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज की और वो है स्टिमुलस डिस्क्रिमिनेशन वेरी सोन एन इंडिविजुअल मस्ट लर्न टू डिस्क्रिमिनेट बिटवीन डिफरेंट स्टिमुल बिटवीन डिफरेंट सिचुएशन इवेंट्स एंड पर्सन एग्जाम्पल है कि यू लुक यू लुक नाइस टूडे ना हु हैज सेड इट एंड इन वॉट पर्टिकुलर टोन इज इट बींग सेट इज दिस सेंटेंस बींग अटर्ड बाय अ फ्रेंड और बाय एन एनमी इफ बाय अ फ्रेंड देन सर्टनली विद लव इफ बाय एन एनमी विद सरकेस्टिक टोन विद क्रिटिसिजम सो सून individual learns to discriminate between between stimuli events situations and persons janab ek aur bahut aham construct and that is schedules of reinforcement so what are schedules of reinforcement what are schedules of reinforcement skinner demonstrated that particular patterns or schedules of reinforcement lead to changes in both rate of responding and extinction if reinforcement is presented on each occasion this is referred to as a continuous reinforcement schedule every time the desired response is made it is reinforced every time a good grade is achieved it is rewarded dear students we are talking to you about schedules of reinforcement schedules of reinforcement are actually patterns or methods of reinforcements that are being provided to an organism or to an individual it can be an animal it can be a human being now there can be a continuous schedule of reinforcement yani har acche response ko aap reinforce kijiye reward kijiye uski frequency badh jayegi aur jab bhi aap har acche response ko reinforce kar rahe honge we label it as continuous schedule of reinforcement then we have got interval schedule of reinforcement which can be a fixed interval schedule it can be a variable interval schedule uske baad hamare paas hai ratio reinforcement schedule it can be a fixed ratio reinforcement schedule it can be a variable ratio reinforcement schedule so dear students let us talk about these schedules of reinforcement humne aapse kaha ke reinforcement means a pattern a method of reinforcing a behavior or skinner is talking about interval schedule of reinforcement which can be a fixed interval a reinforcement schedule or a variable interval schedule it can be a ratio reinforcement schedule it can be a fixed ratio schedule it can be a variable ratio schedule number 2 if the reinforcement is contingent on an interval of time it is referred to as interval reinforcement if this interval is unchanging that is every after every 5 minutes or after every 10 minutes we have a fixed interval reinforcement schedule providing reinforcement following a constant interval of time the investigator may wish to reinforce according to an intermittent or variable interval schedule here the reinforcement may vary randomly around an average a ratio reinforcement schedule here the reinforcement is determined by the number of responses that has been emitted since the last reinforcement it is a simple one every 10th response is reinforced or every 20th response is reinforced or any other number this would be referred to as fixed ratio reinforcement on some trials the reward might follow the second or the third response while on others it may follow the seventh or the eighth this will be called a variable ratio schedule these ratio schedules are analogous to a situation of a peace worker or a person working on commission where the pay off depends only on the efficiency and effort of the worker number 2 a variable ratio schedule is at the heart of all gambling systems and devices dear students we are talking to you about uh, 
शेड्यूल्स ऑफ री और हमने आपसे कहा देर कैन बी ए कंटिन्यूस री इन्फोर्समेंट शेड्यूल वेर एवरी रिस्पॉन्स इज बींग री इन्फोर्स देर कैन बी एन इंटरवल री इन्फोर्समेंट शेड्यूल देर कैन बी ए फिक्सड इंटरवल री इन्फोर्समेंट शेड्यूल दैट इज आफ्टर एवरी फाइव मिनट्स और आफ्टर एवरी टेन मिनट यू री इन्फोर्स अ रिस्पॉन्स देर कैन बी अ वेरिएबल इंटरवल शेड्यूल दैट इज आफ्टर एवरी थर्ड मिनट यू री इन्फोर्स इट और आफ्टर एवरी सेवेंथ मिनट और आफ्टर एवरी एट मिनट यू री इन्फोर्स रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिज्म और इंडिविजुअल नाउ रेशियो री इन्फोर्समेंट डिपेंड्स ऑन नंबर ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सेज मेड बाय द ऑर्गेनिज्म जनाब जब रेशियो री इन्फोर्समेंट शेड्यूल की बात होगी तो अगेन देर कैन बी अ फिक्सड रेशियो री इन्फोर्समेंट शेड्यूल जहाँ पे एवरी फिफ्थ रिस्पॉन्स और एवरी टेंथ रिस्पॉन्स और लेट से एवरी सेवेंथ रिस्पॉन्स और एवरी एट्थ रिस्पॉन्स इज बींग री इन्फोर्स्ड उसके बाद हम कह सकते हैं कि वेरिएबल रेशियो शेड्यूल विल बी के कुछ ट्रायल्स में आप जो हैं वो थर्ड थ्री रिस्पॉन्सेस को थर्ड रिस्पॉन्स को री इन्फोर्स करें और कुछ देर के बाद जब वो पांच रिस्पॉन्सेस करेगा देन ही विल बी री इन्फोर्स्ड सो रेशियो री इन्फोर्समेंट शेड्यूल इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द नंबर ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सेस एंड ऑर्गेनिज्म मेक्स और उसमें अगेन देर इज अ फिक्सड रेशियो दैट इज आफ्टर एवरी फाइव रिस्पॉन्सेस और वेरिएबल में कभी तीन रिस्पॉन्सेस को आप री इन्फोर्स करें कभी आप पांच को करें कभी सात को करें कभी आठ को करें नाउ डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस टॉक अबाउट समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड दैट इज मेथड्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट दैट आर बेस्ड ऑन ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग जनाब जब मेथड्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट जो कि ऑपरेंट कंडीशनिंग पर बेस करें बात इस पे होगी तो वी इंक्लूड शेपिंग और सक्सेसिव अप्रोक्सीमेशन अवर्जन असर्शन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बिहेवियर मॉडिफिकेशन और बिहेवियर मॉडिफिकेशन में जनाब फोकस हमारा होगा टोकन इकोनॉमी पे और टाइम आउट पे सो वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दीज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सेट ऑफ टेक्निक्स यूल इंजॉय दैम नंबर वन शेपिंग और सक्सेसिव अप्रोक्सीमेशन टेक्निक we start reinforcing a behavior that is the first step towards a final behavior and then gradually reinforce successively closer approximations to the final behavior example learning to drive a car number 2 teaching a retarded child how to feed himself example you are hired to work with patients at hospital your job is to get the reluctant psychiatric patients involved in some activities in the ward you start with one patient your goal is to get the patient into daily art therapy sessions positive reinforcement is the way to do it every time the patient come near the therapy room he is praised and when he enters the class he is appreciated he is given small assignments he is encouraged to do it once these behaviors are established he will be reinforced only when he comes to class takes the class and gets involved in the art therapy session Dear students, we are talking to you about uh, successive approximation or shaping. हमने ये कहा आपसे कि suppose you are to work in a psychiatric hospital and your task is to involve the patients in our therapy session. So what you do, you reinforce, you select one patient, and the moment that patient comes near to that art class, you reinforce him. when he comes to the class you appreciate him you give him small assignments and when he sits in when he is he, he is given small assignments he is encouraged a lot to complete them now ye smaller approximations hain aur ab aakhir mein sirf us behavior ko aap reinforce karenge when he'll come to the art class attend it and take part in that art class session so what are we doing we are reinforcing that particular behavior which will lead to a final behavior pattern so that is called shaping or that is called successive approximations and it is used very successively with schizophrenic patients it is used 
with retarded children it is used with slow learners systematic desensitization is a technique given by joseph fulpe it is used in treatment of phobias and anxiety it is based on classical conditioning first the client is relaxed then a hierarchy is made of the fear producing stimulus now pair the relaxation with the fear producing stimulus and each step the client has to be relaxed otherwise the technique does not work now begin from stimulus of lowest in intensity and then gradually move on to higher fear producing stimulus let's take an example suppose you are afraid of lizards number 1 show pictures of the lizards number 2 show movies of the lizards number 3 go to a person who keeps lizards as pets number 4 touch the lizards with gloves and number 5 then you touch the lizard without gloves so we are talking about systematic desensitization there are two things which you should keep in mind number 1 the client is relaxed this is sabse pehli cheez ke this is a technique which is used for treating individuals who are suffering from phobia or those who are having anxiety problems to do cheeze aapko zehen mein rakhni padengi sabse pehle to you got to teach your client to be relaxed so relaxing the client number 2 make a hierarchy of the fear producing stimulus and begin from the stimulus of lowest intensity and then gradually move on but at each step of this desensitization program you got to be sure that the client is relaxed because if the client is not relaxed this technique does not work suppose you are afraid of lizards now you show your client pictures of the lizards and relax him you show him movies of the lizards and relax him then you show you take him to a person who keeps lizards as pets then you allow your client to touch the lizard first with the gloves and then without the gloves and once he is able to do it well we say his behavior has been shaped or he has been desensitized or his phobia has been cured aversive conditioning this technique is used with drug addicts and something is added to the drink or drug that they take which will cause nausea vomiting sweating etc and it leads to decrease in the probability of the response janab dusri technique aversive conditioning jisme kiya ye jata hai most frequently used with drug addicts hum ek aversion create karana chahte hain hum ek avoidance create karwana chahte hain unke andar a dislike create karwana chahte hain with the drug with the thing that they take so what we do we put a chemical a medicine in their drink or in their drug and when they are going to take it they are going to have experience a set of symptoms which include nausea vomiting sweating extreme aches and pains so what is going it's it's going to create an aversion a dislike a disgust in them and they will gradually give up their addiction so that is aversive conditioning based on operant conditioning aversive conditioning this technique is used with children when soap is rubbed on the tongue and the mouth is taped and the child is punished for using bad language so in our aversive conditioning mein jahan pe aap you can wrap the tongue of the child with the soap and tape his mouth and this acts as a punishment if the child uses abusive bad dirty language so that is aversive conditioning used with little children assertion training teaching an individual to learn to say no in a polite manner to unjustful demands to people such as colleagues boss or friends who make constant unjustful demands so janab we are in a very polite assertive way we teach a person to say no to unjustful demands made by people such as your colleagues such as your boss such as your friends such as your neighbors behavior modification it is a technique based on skinner's work where an undesirable behavior is to be replaced by a desirable behavior by using reinforcement such behaviors as addictions 
और शाई एंड टिमिड बिहेवियर ऑटिज्म एंड इवन शिजोफ्रेनिया इट वर्क इवन विद रिटार्डेड चिल्ड्रन टोकन इकोनमी इंस्टीट्यूशन सच एज मेंटल हॉस्पिटल प्रिजन एंड इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर स्पेशल चिल्ड्रन डिमांड दैट वेन चिल्ड्रन वेन इंडिविजुअल्स बिहेव इन डिजायरेबल मैनर सच एज गेटिंग अप इन टाइम टेकिंग ब्रेकफास्ट मेडिसन टेकिंग अ बाथ मेकिंग वन बेड they get a reward such as tokens which are tickets or money but failure to perform the desirable behavior also results in withdrawal of tokens these tokens can be exchanged for candy cigarettes games movies and time out of the institution in our token economy is a technique which is used in mental hospitals in prisons in institutions for special children now when we want the frequency of a desirable behavior to take place well we use token economy so if a person gets up in time makes his bed takes his breakfast takes a bath keeps himself uh, hygienically clean and he gets a specific number of tokens now these tokens can be exchanged for money for cigarettes for candies for games for going out even out of the institution so token economy is a very effective technique based on operant conditioning janab ek aur technique jo ke bahut common hai aur wo hai time out now time out is a technique which is used with little children a child is misbehaving with one of the parent a child is using abusive language with one of the parent so he'll be asked to leave the living room and go to his room and stay there and he is not going out and he is going to miss his favorite television program so that is time out technique and it works with children and again it is based on operant conditioning dear students that is as far as techniques of treatment are concerned let us see what are the applications of skinner's theory of personality skinner's idea have been used in education to program learning teaching machines schools should control behavior positively instead of negatively his ideas are being used in modification of personal behavior the treatment and care of mentally retarded children his ideas are used in prison reforms his ideas are also used in helping drug addicts janab baat aap se ho rahi hai application ki aur humne ye dekha ke it is being used in education it is being used in reforming behavior of the prisoners it is being used with mentally retarded children so see the diversity of his operant conditioning Now let us see the summary of Skinner's theory. Now Skinner's theory. स्किनर की थेरी में फोकस इज ऑन रेडिकल बिहेवियरिज्म रिजेक्टिंग इनर स्टेट्स नंबर टू फोकस इज ऑन री एनफोर्समेंट पॉजिटिव री एनफोर्समेंट नेगेटिव री एनफोर्समेंट एक्सटिंक्शन एंड पनिशमेंट एंड हिज फोकस इज दैट री एनफोर्समेंट कैन बी यूज टू इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ अ डिजायर रिस्पॉन्स and extinction and punishment can be used to decrease the frequency of an undesirable response so his main area of focus has been on behavior and how we can modify behavior using reinforcement skinner claims happiness as a product of operant conditioning the things that bring happiness are the ones that reinforce us such as good health true respect by all quality work status money power the things that reinforce happiness classical conditioning or respondent conditioning it occurs when a stimulus is paired with an existing stimulus and stimulus response bond is established number 2 instrumental or operant conditioning it occurs when a behavior is followed by either a reward or punishment dear students we did talk about operant conditioning and classical conditioning uske baad humne aapke sath techniques of treatment dekhi jisme shaping thi janab successive approximation thi aversion thi assertion thi 
बिहेवियर मॉडिफिकेशन थी जिसमें बात की आपसे टोकन इकोनॉमी की टाइम आउट की सो दीज वर द टेक्निक्स नाउ लेट अस अवेलुएट स्किनर्स थ्योरी वन मे आल्सो नोट दैट दिस थ्योरी ओस मच टू द लेबोरेटरी रिसर्च नंबर टू स्किनर्स प्रिंसिपल्स वर डिराइव फ्रॉम प्रिसाइज एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन and it is an easy matter to state that rewards have something to do with learning and it is not particularly difficult to demonstrate repeatedly under carefully controlled conditions in a number of different settings dear students that is as far as evaluation is concerned let us recap what we have done today janab aaj aap se humne bahut detail mein baat ki what is operant conditioning और हमने ये देखा कि इफ वी वॉन्ट दी फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ अ रिस्पॉन्स टू बी इंक्रीज वी शुड री इनफोर्स इट आई दर यूजिंग पॉजिटिव री इनफोर्समेंट और नेगेटिव री इनफोर्समेंट इफ वी वॉन्ट दी फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ एन अनडिजायरेबल बिहेवियर टू डिक्रीज वी शुड यूज आई दर एक्सटिंक्शन दैट इज नो री इनफोर्समेंट और वी शुड यूज पनिशमेंट और एन अवर्सिव स्ट्यूमुलस Now Skinner also gave us schedules of reinforcement, जिसमें हमने आज आपसे बात की जना continuous reinforcement schedule की interval reinforcement schedule की और जिसमें fixed interval reinforcement schedule, variable reinforcement, variable interval reinforcement schedule बात की आपसे ratio reinforcement schedule फिक्स्ड रेशो री एनफोर्समेंट शेड्यूल वेरिएबल रेशो री एनफोर्समेंट शेड्यूल की एंड देन वी सेड दैट देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन नेगेटिव री एनफोर्समेंट एंड पनिशमेंट नेगेटिव री एनफोर्समेंट तो किसी बिहेवियर को इंक्रीज करने में इस्तेमाल होती है और पनिशमेंट किसी बिहेवियर को डिक्रीज करने में उसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी को डिक्रीज करने में इस्तेमाल होती है then we even went through that operant conditioning is being used in a number of research techniques humne is theory ki application mein dekha ki it is being used with normal individuals it is being used with clinical population it is being used with retarded children it is being used with drug addicts it is being used with a uh, prisoners so we see that this is a technique operant conditioning works and since it works it is being used in so many different fields and areas uske baad humne ye dekha ki basically most of his skinner's work is based on his laboratory experimentation and it is through his precise experimentation which can be repeated under different settings we come across the phenomena that behavior is is based on learning and learning is can be classical can be operant using schedules of reinforcement dear students i hope you have enjoyed listening to this lecture please go through the powerpoint please go through the uh, word document and the powerpoint slides that are available on personality psychology web page and do write to us if you have a question up till our next lecture it is khuda hafiz from virtual university studio